now to Spain. These have been exciting times for Sevilla. Last season, under head coach Unai Emery, the club gained a club record La Liga tally of 76 points and secured back-to-back -back UEFA Europa League wins. We see them both in different ways, but both times the Europa League was tough. But it made the people of Sevilla very happy. And I think no other team has felt this way whilst playing in this competition. Winning for the first time, which was Sevilla's third, was historic. To do that again would be just as difficult. But we'd be the first ever to win the Europa League four times. So it's difficult to choose which one was more difficult because both titles made Sevilla greater. They gave Sevilla a very important place in history on a worldwide level. And I think those of us that lived it and were part of it have experienced something unique. You could say that football was Emery's destiny. Both his father and grandfather were professional footballers. It's in his blood, and his coaching philosophy reflects his love of the game. I understand that every profession is different, but if you don't love your job, then you don't give 100%. I want to transmit that, because that's the way I feel. The harder you work, the luckier you get. The more information a player gets, the more he's able to learn from it, and the better player he becomes. And that means watching lots of videos of ourselves and lots of videos of our opponents, working on the pitch on a physical level and on a tactical level, and in terms of communication and in terms of the connection of players that work towards achieving something. I see each moment and each day as an opportunity to grow, to improve, and if, during that process, we're aware of that every day, we're better than we were the day before. It's good to keep this as our daily motto, even if some days we can't manage it. If you have this as your goal, you can move forward, you can grow, mature, and you can acquire more knowledge and more experience. Emery arrived in Seville nearly three years ago. His career took off with Valencia, who he took to the Champions League. He went on to have a short spell in Russia with Spartak Moscow, but his learning curve started somewhere far more humble. It was with Lorca in second division B, and some of the players had been my teammates because I took over the team in December. They were my teammates, so I had to change the mindset and talk to them to change the way they thought. When I was given the opportunity at 32, it was because I was prepared. I needed to do the job and see whether it was worth making a career of it. Seville is a football-mad city that supports two La Liga teams, Sevilla and Betis. El Derby Sevillano is the highlight of the local calendar. Their next meeting is on December the 19th. El Derby is bueno para el fútbol. The Derby is good for football and it's good for Sevilla. To have two teams in the Primera Liga is good because it develops the atmosphere of football in the city even more than usual. I live them as a professional and also as a fan because I am also a Sevilla fan and always with the utmost respect. I respect a club like Betis that has lots of fans in Sevilla and around the world. And that's also a club with a very long history. So I want to enjoy the derbies as Sevilla's manager. Emery's success means he's constantly being linked with the continental giants of the sport, but he's well on the way to helping Sevilla become one of them. The aim is to grow, and the goal is Europe. After the joy we've had with the Europa League, we've gone on to play in the Champions League. We want to keep on being ambitious, but above all, we need to keep playing in Europe, because 
We're happy when Sevilla is playing in Europe, and it gives us recognition. This is when Sevilla's fans feel proud of their team.